You guys, you guys can start warming up whenever you like. Okay. Um, you know with you? Are you? Awesome. Are you in the cash cage? You're in the cash cage. Awesome. The other two, your wife, your daughter. My well, my wife is a chip runner. My daughter's a chip runner. I think they're both chip runners that night. Uh, and I think in the cage with us is, I don't remember who's on Friday night and who's on Thursday. I didn't recognize her. Oh. Yours is the only name okay. I recognize her on there. Awesome. We'll get you on the poster, too. The poster. The poster of casino volunteers. The poster of casino volunteers. Pickleball player. Oh, that's. that's I just up to date on the six volunteers. Ah, uh, well, she just updated it yesterday, I think. So it should be, should be ready. Okay, we can start warming up. I'm asking my husband for a new racket for Christmas. Okay. What do you suggest? Could you sell them? Tell him to come in and talk to me. Okay. Yep. So you can recommend what I yep. should do. Okay. Yep, absolutely. So we're not going to warm up on this court because it has the ball machine. We're going to you won't use these two courts for warm up. You can use the green balls. Yeah, green ones or the white ones. No, no hurry. How are you guys today? Good. Last day. You can hop in and warm up with them. All right, so I really haven't addressed warm-up with you guys, uh, but I think I want to today just to start. No, that's okay. It's not a criticism. It's just I'm going to get uh, Joe, can you come here and place Tracy for a second? You guys can be there. The two most important things when you first start warming up is, one, to watch the bounce of the ball and listen to the sound. So when the ball bounces on the ground, it makes a sound. I want you to watch the ball and listen to the sound. Connect those two things together. Watch it very closely. And let me show you why. So everybody come on a little bit closer. So when I drop one of these balls, it's going to bounce straight up and down. right? This ball jumps around like a Mexican jumping bean. Do you see that? It jumps all around. Do that one more time. See, pickleballs don't bounce straight. So you really need to focus on where that ball goes after it bounces, because let's, let's uh, go back and forth again. If you watch this ball closely, you'll see that it doesn't bounce in a straight line, right? So there's, you really have to focus on watching the ball, watching the bounce, and listening for the sound. The sound tells you, gives you a lot of information about how the ball is bouncing. Is it bouncing on a round? Is it bouncing in a hole? And your brain, if you observe those patterns long enough and you get tens of thousands of reps in, your brain will pick up on the sound and the movement and it will help you connect the center of your paddle with the ball. So that's the most important thing about warm up. Really focus on those initial shots on the sound and the sight of the ball at the moment of bounce and the moment after. And then the other thing is remember not to crack the egg. 
Remember what we were doing last week with our dinking? We don't want to be smacking the ball. We don't want to be cracking the egg. Get you back up again. So we're going to watch. Oops, sorry. I was a little aggressive. We're going to watch the bounce. We're going to listen to the sound. And we're going to pass the ball back and forth without cracking the egg. All right? Okay. So that's what I want you to focus on during the warm-up. Go ahead and do your warm-up. And there should be one ball per pair. So you guys have a ball. You two have a ball. You guys have a ball. Very nice. Good contact. You guys are not breaking the egg. Very nice. Not breaking the egg. No broken eggs. Good contact, though, Giannis. Very good. Impressive. Okay, put the green balls in the hopper here. And let me show you our first drill today. Okay, so today is, the, is week four of our backhand fundamentals course. We've covered ground strokes. We've covered serves. We've covered uh, dinking last week. This week we're going to cover backhand volley. Uh, does anybody have any burning questions about the backhand volley before I get started? No? Okay. Awesome. I'm going to get everybody to come in. Where am I going to have you? I'm going to have you stand on this side of the net, very close to the wall. So everybody's going to come in. And some of you can come in on this side of me if you like, close to the wall. So just leave me a space right here because I'm going to be hitting against the wall. So, yeah. Okay. So I'm going to be hitting against the wall. So step out a little bit from the wall so that you can see what I'm doing. Okay. So our first act, we're going to be using these foam balls. Our first activity is to. Stand behind the green line, facing the wall, and then catch. Bump and catch. Bump and catch. Bump and catch. Bump and catch. Everybody see that? Okay. So grab a foam ball out of the basket. We're going to spread out along this wall, all along this green line. Here's a foam ball. Does anybody need a foam ball? So find a spot along the green line or approximately along the green line. And so you just one bump, backhand, and then catch. Now you're going to see right away that it's important not to, not to have the racket come back behind you, right? You want to keep the racket out in front of you because you barely need to touch the ball at all to get it to go there and back. Thank you. That's okay. I got it. Oh, thought I had it. Give me a second. There we go. Get right up to the green line, Joe. Yeah. So try and hit it at about eye, eye level, so somewhere around that line. There you go. And oh, I'm going to fix your stroke. We're going to do it back and this way. Yeah. Good job. Nice. Okay, remember, we're not slapping the ball. Give it a nice, smooth stroke. We're not slapping, we're not poking, we're not punching. Nice, smooth stroke. Tracy, we want to get it up. Try and hit it somewhere around eye level, so somewhere around that line. Yeah, and you want it to come back to you in the air. You want to catch it in the air. Yeah. I found not hitting it hard enough. Yeah. You got to hit a little harder.
How's everybody doing? Anybody struggling? Yep. Exactly. So keep it out front. Give yourself some room to swing, but you don't need to swing very far, right? Okay, if you've mastered that, look at me. This is what I want you to do now. One, two, catch. Oops. One, two, catch. One, two, catch. One, two, catch. Let's try that next. You got it, Tracy. Good job, Joe. Now try and hit the same spot twice. It'll make your life a lot easier. If you pick a brick, try and hit that same brick twice. There you go. You hit the same brick twice. That's your okay. target. <laughs> Good. There you go. You just did it twice. There you go, Angie. Thank you. Welcome. <laughs> there you go, Tracy. It's tougher than it looks, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, get everybody to pause for a second. So, in a human population, there are different levels of eye-hand coordination, right? Some people have, are born with really high levels of eye-hand coordination. Some people are born with really low levels of eye-hand coordination. Most people are somewhere in between. Um, there is going to be a number of reps, times of hitting the ball, for you that you're going to be able to get to where you'll be at the best that you can be, whatever that is, right? For some people, that number might be 3,000 reps. For some people, it might be 33,000 reps, right? Um, your ceiling is wherever your ceiling is going to be, and that's going to be probably, you can, you can do small things to help increase that, but wherever your ceiling is, once you reach your maximum ceiling, you're probably not going to be able to increase it. Um, but you can still play pickleball. Everybody in here can play pickleball. Um, just your volley might not be your best shot. Um, but you, you can definitely get to that level just by hitting balls over and over and over again. You don't, you don't, you're, not, you're gonna get more reps hitting against the wall than you will ever get in a pickleball game. So just in the past five minutes of hitting the ball against the wall, you've probably hit as many as you would hit in an entire two hours, of all these as you would hit in an entire two hours of pickleball. So if you wanna get to that magic number sooner, find a place to practice with, uh, with a ball and a wall. Come in early to pickleball, Hit the ball against the wall a hundred times. It'll help you with your volume. Okay? Let me show you the last rep we're going to do in this uh, against the wall here. We're going to try and do 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All right? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Let's try that. Okay? Try and do 10 in a row. Yeah. 
You can actually use this ball on your drywall and it won't damage anything. Yeah, you can come to the store. I'll give you one today, but if you need another one, you can come to the store and get one. There you go, Tracy. Joe, you're getting better every minute. Look at you. Yeah. Janice is getting better too. Janice is getting better too. <laughs> so just if you're getting lower and lower, remember to keep your your path your angle a little wide or more open. Yeah. Hey, we're going to spend another three or four minutes at this, and then we're going to move on to the next thing. How are you feeling, Tracy? Oh, okay. Get a little closer and make it a little easier for yourself. You're doing good there, Angie. Yep. If it gets too close to you, you just end up pushing it too hard. Oh, sorry, Tracy. Oh, man, this ball does not want to cooperate. You got a rhythm going there. Ah. Okay, everybody, hold the balls, please. So I imagine your arms are getting a little tired. So we're going to take a break. You can throw the foam balls back in here. Before you leave today, if you don't have one of these, you can take one home with you. Uh, if you want, they're awesome to practice with. Um, let's talk about places where you can practice this because this is going to help you get better quickly. So at home, the garage. If you have one of these balls, you can do it somewhere in your house. It's not going to damage your drywall. Where else could you do this kind of thing? Practice before pickleball. Okay. What's that? Garage door, yeah. yeah. Especially if you have a ball like this. Uh, outdoor tennis courts often have uh, practice walls, right? So Wood Creek, for example, they have practice walls. There's a practice wall at South Glenmore Park. There's a practice wall at the city courts next to Wood Creek School as well. Uh, there's something called a dink pad you see on the internet. If you see it on, you know, on TikTok and if you follow pickleball at all, you'll see dink pad. Is it? Oh, crazy expensive. Yeah. Yeah, you don't need a three hundred dollar piece of wall. Yeah, but there's also uh, eye hand coordination things like those the, the racket with the ball and the string you can get in a toy store. Those are really awesome for improving your eye hand coordination. Juggling balls, you can get three juggling balls for about fifteen bucks. There's a hundred thousand videos on YouTube showing you how to juggle, right? You can do one ball juggling, two ball juggling, three, four, five, whatever you want. But yeah, if you do two ball juggling, it'll help you with your eye hand coordination. You can do that standing next to your bed so that when you drop the balls, they're really easy to pick up. Right? You can do it next to your kitchen table if you, if you have the bean bags. Um, uh, all of my private students, um, the very first thing I put them on is juggling balls because juggling balls will help you become a better uh, will improve your eye-hand coordination and help you become a better pickleball player fairly quickly. Um, so don't underestimate this. Your arms got really tired, I'm guessing. Um, that's part of it too, fatigue, right? Uh, you come in to play pickleball for two hours, you don't realize it, but at the end of the two hours, especially that last half hour, your arm and your shoulders are fatigued. So it becomes harder to volley. So part of it is repetitions, eye-hand coordination, but part of, it is, part of it is also fitness. So um, if you do this stuff, it will help you on both of those uh, issues. Any questions about what we just did? I thought you were putting your hand up for a second. <laughs> All right, so we're going to move on to something called reaction volleys now. We're going to use the green balls. Just let me move this aside. I'm going to use uh, Murray as my demo partner right there. Do you know what reaction balls, volleys are, Murray? OK, no worries. I'll teach you. Let's get everybody to back up a little bit so we don't accidentally hit you. 
All right, so we're just going to volley back and forth, just backhand to backhand, just right here. Okay, ready? Okay, so I want you to notice that this is a backhand, this is a backhand, this is a backhand. The only forehand is this one out here. So three out of the four shots in this zone in front of us are backhands, aren't they? That's why the backhand volley is such an important stroke to get better at quickly, because your most of your back most of your volleys are going to be backhands. Most of your blocks are going to be backhands. Later we're going to go over and work on the ball machine. So right now it's important to get this concept of the block in. Let's do one more demonstration, Rick. Oops, sorry. Is it okay if the ball hits the ground? Is it okay if the ball hits the ground? Sure it is, right? Doesn't matter if the ball hits the ground, he's just gonna volley it to me, and then we'll just try to go from there. It's okay if the ball hits the ground, it's not the end of the world. It's not much different than a dink, is it? A dink is a ground stroke where we hit the ball in front of us. A volley is the same thing, just we take it out of the air. That's it. So there's a dink, there's a volley, rackets in the same position. Make sense? Okay, grab a partner, grab a green ball, and let's start doing some reaction volleys. Two people at this net, two people on this court right here. Get you right in this court right here. Actually, no, you guys can be on this court. Don't go down to the ball machine court. Just You can do it on those two courts right there. There we go. Remember, don't break the egg. Nice and easy. There you go. There's a the ball. There you go, Jen. You need a ball, just yell. Say, ball. Don't worry about it. Nice try. Okay, so you guys, I'm going to get you to keep it below head level, All right? Keep it, keep it down. There's no point in doing rainbow volleys. You guys are good enough. You can control it below, below the top of your heads. Okay. There you go, Janice. There you go, Janice. Right here. There you go. Okay, hold the balls, please. We're going to use Tracy, who's in the corner, as our anchor. Everybody's going to rotate one position around Tracy. So, Janice, you're going to slide over there. Everybody else is going to slide this way. Yep, you're going to be to this side. Awesome. There we go. All right, new partner. If you need a ball, just say ball, and I'll give you another ball. There you 
Aí, ó. Well done, good control. Well done, ladies. Oh, good job. I'm glad you stopped that and just stop and reset. Yeah, go ahead, keep going. Go. Yeah, no, I did, but. If you start to lose control, just stop and reset. That's what I was saying. Yeah. There you go. Okay, let's do a rotation. Tracy's gonna stay our anchor. Everybody's gonna rotate one position around Tracy. Need a ball? Don't worry about it, Joe. We can get him later. There you go. Good job. Oops. Okay, let's uh, rotate one more time. You guys are doing great. Well done. Okay, let's do one more rotation. One more rotation. This will be our last rotation. Need a ball, Janice. There you go. There you go. There you go, Kalinda, coming behind you. There you go. Good feeds, Murray. Good job, Janice. Ah, oh, I cursed you. I jinxed you.
Awesome. Okay, everybody, let's hold the balls. We're going to do a pickup, and then we're going to have a little, uh, we're going to have a drink of water, and we're going to have a little chat, and then we're going to start with the ball machine. So let's pick up all of the uh, green and white balls, and if there's any foam balls around. Awesome. And we'll have a drink. Tip it, tip it up. Exactly. Thank you. You're welcome. A little bit of a workout, eh? Yeah. Well, you know what? Margaret took the courses before, like long ago. Huh? And in the summer, like she took them before we go out and she would do all those things. Yeah. And it was fun. Yeah. It was fun. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
practice your dink. The more you get these little reps in, just back and forth, the more we get these, so you've got a built-in partner, Colin and Murray, right? Built-in partners. You can do this, and the more uh, reps that you get, you can do it with guard, right? <laughs> exactly. Um, and, and, you know, find somebody you always want to look for, a training partner, or even better, a training group. Because your partner's not always available, but if you have a group, there's always somebody in the group who's available, right? If it, sometimes it's two people, sometimes it's eight people, but the more often you get together and do this kind of stuff, um, the better. But this little backhand motion, the backhand volley feed back and forth, you just keep working on this and become very, very good at it until you can control it just, just grazing the net, just going over the net, just from the baseline, just clearing the net. It's the same motion. Just practice it. And every opportunity you get to do it, do it. And over time, your deltoids, your triceps, your biceps, your forearm are going to get stronger. Uh, and it'll be less of a fitness issue. Right now, you're going to be time limited. You're only going to be able to handle doing it for five to ten minutes at a time. Um, maximum of probably an hour a day. But eventually, you're going to get to a point where you can do, it, do a lot of it. Uh, and then once you're really good at this, you're going to become really good at drilling and all that other thing, all that other stuff. Any questions about what I just said? I tend to go on. Okay, so we're going to try and work with the ball machine. Has anybody here ever worked with a ball machine before? Okay, so you know that you don't walk in front of the ball machine because the ball machine doesn't care if you're there. It's going to fire balls. And I get students every year who get hit. doesn't matter how many times I tell them not to walk in front of the ball machine. Their attention wanders, they walk in front of the ball machine, and they get hit. Please don't be that student today. If you are, I will forgive you, but please don't be that student today. Okay, so what we're going to do is, I'm just going to start the machine off very, very slowly. We're going to be working in a circle. I'm going to go very slowly initially, because I want everybody to understand the cycle and the pace and all that stuff, and then... Once we get through that first maybe 10 minutes, I'm going to create two different spots. So you three have worked with the ball machine? You three? You four? You ever worked with the ball machine? OK. I'm going to slide down here, Murray. OK. So Janice, I'm going to put you here first. You're going to be right at the T, where the green line meets the blue line. I'm going to turn on the machine. I want you, if you can, to volley the ball with the backhand. But if it comes out on this side of you, I want you to volley like this. I, I should probably demonstrate first. Uh, Jolene, can you turn the machine on for me? I'm just going to put you against the wall, Janice. Yeah. Just the top switch. Can I just get you to slide against the wall? I've got to do a demonstration first. Slide right up against the wall. OK. So I'm going to start with my paddle pointing at the machine. And get ready to shut it off. Okay, that was a forehand, right? It was out to this side. One more. I'm gonna. You can shut it off, Joe. Right? Shut it off, Joe. No worries. All right. So it's pretty simple, right? Backhand, backhand, backhand. Forehand if it's out on this side. I want you to just hit. Uh, we'll start off with two balls, two attempts. So if you miss the first one, you miss the second one. Doesn't matter. You're gonna cycle out. Our circle is going to go this way. We're going to go outside of the court and around behind the ball machine. I don't want anybody to walk through the court on that side of the net. Okay? And I'll call the switches, um, and I'll keep an eye on the machine. So you can come on up here, Janice. The ball machine is coming like this. It's a little inconsistent. Some of them will be high. Some of them will be low. Some of them will be left. Some of them will be right. You've got to, you've got to watch the machine. When the ball comes out, you've got to move your paddle to get it in front of it, OK? All right, go ahead, turn it on, Joe. Yeah. Once everybody's used to it, I'll increase the tempo, and we'll move a little bit faster, OK? Go, oh, just get it in the court. I try. One more. OK, that's it. Step out. Melinda's going to step in. 
Good. There you go. Step out. Murray's going to step in. Good. Uh, not yet. Don't worry about it. Step in. One more, Tracy. Good job. Step out. You're up, Angie. Oh, nice try. One more. Good job. Step out. There you go, Joe. Nice. There you go. Step out. Awesome. No worries. Okay, next one. Watch your feet there, Kalinda. That's one. Two. Okay, watch your ball. Watch your feet on the way out. There we go. Good job, Murray. Right on. Step out. It's okay. Good job. Step out. Tough ones. You got two tough feeds there, Angie. Good job. Step out. All right, pause for one second. Okay. So what I see is, oh, can we shut that off? I thought I shut it off. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. All right. So I see people starting to do the cheater thing which is hold the paddle like this. Um, we're going to start with the paddle pointing at the machine. When the ball comes out of the machine, the first thing you do is turn either your backhand or your forehand towards the ball, and then you move your arm. So the very first thing I want you to develop is the habit of turning the paddle face first before moving your arm. I don't want you to move your arm and then turn the paddle face. So just develop this habit of paddle face first, then move your arm. Okay? You can come on up here, Tracy. Okay, slide out. Gotta be awake, Angie. Okay, next. Yeah, paddle face first. Nice try. Good job. Next. Really nice. You got it, Angie. Well done. Ouch. Step out. Step out. No, 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 no. Don't bend over in front of the machine. Step out. Good job, Murray. Much better. Thank you, Joe. Way to go, Tracy. 
There we go. Ah, uh, nice try. All right, good stop. Now we're going to make two lines. There's going to be one there, right there. There's going to be one there. Now, you're going to be, so the machine's going to be alternating, it's going to be change, changing the direction. After you've hit two, you're going to say switch, you'll slide out and you'll come over. You may hit five balls before he hits two, but the person on this side is driving. Once they hit two, they're going to step out. There's two of you, some of the balls are going to go in between you. So you're going to have to call mine. You're going to have to communicate with each other. Okay? Here we go. Looks like it's coming to you first, Tracy. One. Oh, call it. One. Two, okay, switch. One for Tracy. Two for Tracy. Switch. Get ready, Angie. Here it comes. Is that two? Is that two? Switch. One for Joe. Nope. Okay, I'm going to get you guys to slide all the way down. Is that two? Okay, switch. You're in, Belinda. So you guys are going to line up back here. Okay? Okay, switch. Very good. I'm going to get you guys to slide all the way down to the end of the black, black line here and come in from behind. That way, that way you can keep an eye on the balls in the back court. The tip switch.
Very good. What you got, Janice? Hey, hey, I'm bad. Hey, Marie. I'm well, thank you. What's that? Different applications. So, uh, morning. How you doing, Ann? Uh, the foam balls are really excellent beginner balls for self volley against the brick wall. Uh, the green balls are really light balls for uh, reaction volleys with new players. Uh, and then the orange balls are our standard balls. White was the same as green, just different color. Get the hang of this? Yeah. yeah. Hey, Tracy. Do you have any idea why your balls are popping so high up into the air? Yeah, your paddle face is facing up. So if you turn your paddle face a little more that way, it will keep them a bit lower. Okay? Yeah, it's a, it's it'll come. It'll come. You like what? Good. Switch. Got it? Okay. That's one for Janice. That's two. Switch. Good communication, though, Murray. Let's clear that ball. Let's clear that ball. It's right behind Joe's foot. Much better, Tracy. That feels better now. Good. Just got to get some reps in. Very good, Janice. Nice, Joe. Nice soft hands. Oops. For tennis balls. Oh. Same machine? Not the same. Similar, but not the same. Yep, very similar.
I put them in the yellow bin now. Okay, it's our last cycle. Once you've hit your, your two, it ends with Joe. Alright, Kalinda, you ready? Oh, look at that. Okay. I want to put them in the yellow bit basket now. In this one. Okay, switch. Okay, switch out, switch. Last one. Okay, switch, switch. It's gonna end with Joe, Janice. Joe's gonna be the last one, okay? There you go, one more for Angie. That's it? Okay. Joe, one more, and we're done. Awesome. Okay, everybody, let's pick up all the balls, put them in this yellow hopper, and then come on in and talk to me. Oh. Yeah, exactly. All right, everybody, come on in so you can hear me. Um, so everybody loves the ball machine. It's a good way to get reps. The ball machine isn't good for everything, but it is particularly good for giving you reps on this particular ball. If you're interested in the ball machine, it's available every morning from 6 a.m. to 7 a.m., seven days a week, even Christmas Day if you want it. I'll be here for that. Um, so if you're a member here, I think everybody here is a member here. Um, you can come in and train on the ball machine. It costs one punch on your punch card. Uh, you just There's some rules written on the wall in the uh, pickleball room. You just have to let me know that you're coming. Because if you're not here, I might not be here. But if somebody's coming, I will come. Okay? Any questions about what we did today? No, no, that was fun, Brent. Good. Glad you enjoyed it. Okay. Uh, I, I enjoyed meeting you all. Um, today is the end of our four weeks. If you're in another class, I will see you. If not, I'll see you around the courts. Thank you. Awesome. Have a great day, guys. I'll deal with all this. Don't worry about it. You guys can take off.
Uh, I'll take it to the room. Yeah, if you want to take, do you want to take the machine or the table? Okay. Okay. If you take the machine, I'll take the table. Oh. It's okay. I have it all wrapped up here. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, no worries. You were, you were meeting Dave. That's all right. <laughs> no worries. Thank you. Stop. Ow. Stop. Thank you.